In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use HTML to create some tables. Sorry about that. Um, and so uh, it's a good way to organize your, your ideas and get them across. And it makes sometimes tables make it easier for um, people to read your content. So if you haven't already watched one of the videos before on formatting and creating um, using HTML and REPL, uh, I suggest watching the video that's popping up right here. Um, and so now I've asked you to have multiple pages so that we can create a table on one of those pages that you've just made. Um, I don't want you to make a, a table onto the home page. So our home page is our index, and I've got two pages. I've got my computer science page and my favorites page. Now, depending on what kind of table you want to make, Let's say you want to do something about like your favorite books or your favorite sports teams or uh, your favorite movies. That might go under your favorites, right? Um, for me, I'm doing a, a table about instructions on how to use HTML and REPL. So I'm going to put it in my computer science um, on my computer science page. So as I jump over to my computer science page, I just want to point out that uh, as we refresh our, uh, our page here and I hit run and then I jump to my computer science page. The only thing I really have on here is like this is an introduction and then the things that we added earlier. I'm actually going to, um, yeah, I'll leave that just for now. Um, and so we're on that page right there. So uh, to get this on here, you have to hit this arrow here and you can see it jumps you to your index or your home page and then make sure that your links work that are jumping you to your different pages. All right, so we're going to make jump into making a table. And like I said, your table can be on all kinds of different things. Um, it's just a good way to organize your ideas that you wanna get across to the reader. Um, so I would like you to make at least three columns for your tables and at least three rows. Um, if you wanna make more, by all means, I'm gonna show you how to make like one or two and then you just kind of repeat that. Um, so let's start working um i am going to first uh give it a table border so i'm going to hit uh i'm going to type table and border and you can see that i'm going to put a one there um and da, 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 and then i'm going to close that up and um, when i hit refresh nothing really shows up because we haven't added any uh anything to it so the next thing I want to do is do um, the, the table row, so tr, and then I'm going to do uh, t uh, close tr. There we go. All right. So on the first table row, I'm going to make this a table header, so th, um, and I'm going to put name, and then close that up going to uh, you can do the same thing but here's here's what I like to do since we're kind of copying and pasting I'm just going to copy and paste that three times and I'm going to change this to description and I'm going to change this to um, And so now when I hit run on this, it's always going to send you to that home page. But if you're looking at your web page, uh, you can see that you have it right there. And uh, you, know, you want to make sure you, you spell things correctly too. <laughs> I had to pause there and be like, yes, double checking. Okay. All right. Um, so we want to add um, like three... Uh, pages to this. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I want to have um, three rows. So I'm going to go, I'm going to separate this. And I'm going to do uh, my first table row, and then I'm going to close this. So that'll be row one. And then this one will be row two. Yeah. 
All right, in row one, I'm going to uh, give this table data, so TD, and, um, and then I'm going to backslash TD, and then if I hit the tab, you can see uh, that you can, um, it'll kind of jump you to there. Okay, so in my first row, I'm going to put um, create a REPL dot Okay. In my next set of data, it'll be my description here. So, all right. And just to make sure everything's lining up, you can refresh your page and you can see that. Now, I'm going to add insert a video here. So you can keep typing instructions there. And again, I'm going to copy this and place it there. But of course, I don't want to repeat that. Um, so I make these videos so that students can learn how to code. So I'm going to find that video right there that is the very first one that I made about REPL and how to code, and I'm going to go to this share. And so many of us hit this copy because we text videos to each other all the time. You want to hit this embed, and uh, you can see that you can change the sizes and things like that. We'll get into that in just a sec. We're going to copy and go back to here, and then we are going to paste in between the uh, table data, and we can then refresh and you can see it's pretty large on there. Um, you can also see that, um, and I don't remember if I showed you guys this or not, but like you can change the border width. So let's say, say I want to change it to five. What's five look like? A little bit thicker, pops off a little bit. Okay. So if you like five, that's cool. I suggest anything between one and five. Looks nice. All right. Um, so that is our first row. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to bring it down to uh, our second row. So this slash here closes it. This right here opens it up again. And let me kind of tab that over. Now, if I hit refresh, it just has the same thing twice. Right? Well, we don't want the same thing. I want to. I want. I would like to uh, put my second instructional video that I have there. And so that was the beginning tutorial. Just pause that real fast. And so I want beginning tutorial of HTML. So I'm going to go back into my code and I'm going to change this first um, directions right here. So now when I refresh you can see I change it there. I'm going to change the uh, description. I'm just going to put, put that real fast. And then I'm going to hit share and then embed and then copy and then come back to here. And I can close this you don't want to you don't want to uh, delete that data table i'm going to re paste that in there and let me see if i did the right thing refresh and there we go so now students can start following along now if you think that video size is too big you can always change the width and the height there um, and then of course i'd like you to keep adding some rows to it uh, and giving us information that you'd like to share. So thank you so much for uh, watching this, and I can't wait to see what you created.